Everybody, video here for you today. Now a news story popped up that reminded me of something I looked into maybe eight or nine months ago and I was going to make a video on it. And it just kind of slipped through the cracks and I never did. But ancient China, very interesting. And I have reported on how many ancient cultures treated the dead and how they viewed the afterlife. But here in China, there was many dynasties. And the one I'm going to talk about today maybe started about 2,200 years ago. There was many dynasties in China, just like Egypt, and they put their pyramids along the river here. And were they repurposed by later cultures? Well, that's always a possibility because we don't have any solid answers as far as the pyramids in China. But the Han Dynasty treated their elite, or at least some of their elite, in a pretty special way. And this is very unique. We have talked about jade coming from Mesoamerica and the Mayans. Well... Let's go over to a story that just came out recently. Here is a fairly new story that came out on Heritage Daily. The jade burial suits. The jade burial suits were handcrafted using pieces of jade for the ceremonial burial of royalty and aristocrats during the Han Dynasty nearly 2,000 years ago in China. It says long before the Han period, the Chinese had developed a fascination with mineral which was mined as early as 6,000 BC during the Neolithic period. But there is a look at one of these burial suits made out of jade they found. Because of its hardness, durability, and subtle translucent colors over time, jade became associated with the Chinese conception of the soul, protective qualities, and immortality in the essence of the stone. With the rise of the Han Dynasty, and that is the second imperial dynasty in China, starting roughly 200 BC and lasting for about 400 years, the association with jade's longevity is apparent from the text by the Chinese historian Simu Quan about Emperor Wu of Han, who was described as having a jade cup inscribed with the words, Long life to the Lord of men, and indulged himself with an elixir of jade powder mixed with sweet dew. But there is one of those burial suits. If we go down here, it says the Han rulers believed Jade would also preserve body and souls attached to it in death and were buried entirely in sheathed in jade burial suits comprised of thousands of pieces of cut and polished jade sewn together with thread. And the type of thread used was dependent on the deceased status. An emperor's jade suit was threaded with gold, lesser royals and highly ranked nobility with silver, sons and daughters of the lesser with copper, and lowly ranked aristocrats with silk. It says the mention of jade suit burials in historical texts was long suspected as merely legend until the discovery of two complete jade suits in tombs were discovered in 1968. Here is the jade burial suit of Liu Su, Prince of Liang of Western Han, made with 2008 pieces of cut jade here is the jade burial suit at the Museum of the Mausoleum of the Nan Yu King, Guangzhou. But these are pretty fascinating here. Here is another one coming from about 55 BC. They call this the Jade Shroud for the King of Zhongsheng. And this is in the National Museum of China in Beijing. Here is another one. You can see the detail pretty good. This one it says, with replaced copper wire in the George Walter Vincent Smith Art Museum in Springfield, Mass. Here is a close-up of that jade burial suit. And just think, each of these squares are rectangles, and that was most of these were. There were some oval ones, some triangular ones, but each of these had to have four small holes drilled through the jade. And some of these had over 2,000 pieces of jade. But there's a design right there in the middle. My eyes are kind of failing me. Does that represent a dragon or... Something there with the wing, I can't really tell, but I'm sure it had to do with the afterlife. But ancient stone was certainly precious and symbolic to many ancient cultures. They looked at colors representing certain things. In Egypt, green represented rebirth, resurrection, new life. That makes sense, but I think the Chinese kind of looked at things the same. But here is one of those burial suits, and I believe this is in the museum in Beijing. Here is the head section from the Prince of Liang's jade burial suit coming from almost 2,000 years ago. Hole in the top of the head, does that release a soul? Or is there original pieces missing? Not really sure. 
but that'll give you an idea how much trouble they went through for one burial suit here to ensure the afterlife of these royals. Now, these burial suits were obviously priceless. Jade to the Mayans, I say, it was more valuable than gold. Here is a hand of that same burial made out of nephrite jade. These burial suits had between 1,000 and 2,500 individual pieces of jade on them. Pretty remarkable, and some of them were held together with gold. And there was up to 2,600 grams of gold on some of these individual jade burial suits. Not only jade burial suits coming from the Han Dynasty, check out this jewelry. Now most of these pieces are just an inch, two inches, three inches tall. Made out of jade, most of these, but they represent the mythology and cosmology of the Han Dynasty. Very cool, very small pieces of art here. Made out of jade, most of these. Dragon symbolism, obviously. There is a piece, very cool. I believe this one's made out of agate, but here is some more small pieces of jade art coming from this Han Dynasty. There is one blown up, appears to have little glyphs in it, that's very interesting, but just thought I'd share some of these pieces of small artwork coming from this culture that existed about 2,000 years ago. Here is one item I thought I would show close up, this is a little over 3 inches wide, 2 inches tall. But that'll give you an idea of the intricate details, dragon symbolism. I just thought this was an interesting thing to talk about. This is actually my second video of the day. Uploaded a little golf video earlier. But these jade burial suits, pretty fascinating piece of history coming from China. Something we just do not know a heck of a lot about. I've talked a lot about the pyramids in China today, jade burial suits. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very nice day.